It's bre first breakfast in the Airstream. What do y'all think? <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm turning off. When we started this, we were talking a lot about the Hebrews 11:8 telling of the Abraham story because it says it in such a beautiful poetic way. It says, "He went to receive his inheritance, not knowing where he was going." And this feels kind of like that. It feels like we're traveling somewhere. We don't know where that will end. All we know is that we're following God there. But what do you think? It's your first morning in a new spot on the Airstream. What are you thinking? Um, it's fun. sunset was lasting forever today so I just had to stop again and uh, look at it one more time this is wild all right the adventure is I think of that Moses story too this feels like what I would imagine it would feel like to follow a pillar of fire through the desert. Hard days, hard nights, hard weeks. I got us lost. No more eating the dog. Do not put that in there. Bubby. You did it. I asked. Video. Mommy needs to go to the bathroom. You want to go play at the park? Yeah, I can hold him. Hold on a second. What have we learned so far? That going across the country in an RV is super tricky. Okay, what about the snack? What? Put it away. Well, no, we've already had an adventure, right? Adventure of no hot water. <laughs> Every time we take a step out, God just lays the stone there and press the step on. And it's like, we don't really know what we're stepping out into. It just, when we take that step, he lays the stone. To follow a pillar of fire through the desert. Really hard days, hard nights, but constant miracles along the way. Show it, show us around the new living room. It's awesome. Well, this is part of our living room. What I love about this place is the wide open spaces. 